hi everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is hati and i'm from kampala uganda and thank you for clicking on this video and if you're returning thank you for the support so in today's video as you can see by the title i'll be doing an ethnicity tag so and i'll be asking myself questions so I'll, and i'll be the one to answer them guys so without further ado let's jump into this video first question what is your ethnicity yes guys my ethnicity is ugandan i'm ugandan i was born and raised in uganda my mom is ugandan and my dad is ugandan so i'm a hundred percent ugandan do you speak your language and what is it called so yes guys i'm a nubian by tribe and i know i i don't really speak it but i can hear everything people say but I speak a little bit of it. If you don't know the Nubian language, this language is a vibrant of some little bit of Arabic, Arabic language, but it is um, a little bit of a modified Arabic, a simple Arabic, Arabic language. So yes, guys, I, I don't speak it, but I really, really hear everything they speak and whatever they say. It is a small tribe, so it's not very known within uganda so but if you know it you are the best and you are the real mvp the uniqueness about my tribe is they they are being conservative about their cultures guys my tribe my tribe conserve their culture as well and another uniqueness about them is they have the most beautiful not actually the most but they have if you want dark skinned if you want beautiful dark skinned women guys my tribe has got beautiful dark skinned women that's another uniqueness about them the next question what is your favorite ethnicity food so guys yeah the food that represent my ethnicity is matoke i love matoke i can eat matoke with any stew if you make matoke with any stew let it be chicken stew beef stew binyewa binyewa is some ginard paste they make they cook and it goes well with with matoke so and another food i like this food is from our culture it's called gurusa if you don't know about gurusa it is basically if you know the ethiopian food there is ethiopian food called injera i'll put it anywhere on the screen so that you get to see it injera yeah that that food it is basically uh, some wheat flour mixed with maize and they let it ferment then after they cook it like they're round always they are round like chapati so but they're a little bit sour but not so much sour so that's our uh, culture food in our tribe and if the, the the sauce which goes with it is uh, okra 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 stew mixed with it can be mixed with fish it can be mixed with um with meat so guys if you get for me that it's so so good next question any ethnic item you have in your house mm, ethnic item yes guys i have uh there is one called kuta it is basically made of papyrus leaves then after it is i don't know how it's called it is made it is handmade with papy papyrus leaves with some colors you, any color you feel like putting you can put if you don't know the kuta this is what i mean by the kuta it was given to me by my auntie on our wedding so yeah it is very nice it is basically used for covering food and if you you don't want to cover food with it you can put it in the house as a decoration on the walls it, it has got our letters, my my initials and my husband initial. So this is H representing hearty and this is S representing this is S representing my husband's name. So yes guys, this is the kuta. And the next um, ethnic item I have in the house is the mat omokeka it's called omokeka in uganda and in our language it's called beers so if you don't know it it's here how beautiful guys how cute so this is the mat uh, it was also given to me by my auntie on 
as a present on our wedding day. So this mat is used for prayers in our college, in our tribe. Uh, mostly used for, it is used for prayers and if not for prayers, if you get some visitors at home, you just lay the mat, you just lay the mat down and they sit on. So, yeah, this is the mat. Interesting places to visit in Uganda. So guys, let me tell you this. I love traveling and I've traveled, I think I've traveled the whole Uganda. But for me, on my side, let me tell you the most interesting places to visit. First of all is Lake Bunyoni. This is located in southwestern Uganda between Kisoro and Kabali. And this lake is the second deepest lake in you in up no not in uh, this lake is the second deepest lake in Africa. And um, if you want a better view of this lake, let me tell you one of the the cottages. Okay, the let me say hotels. One of the hotels, one of the best hotels I've ever stayed in. If you want to get a better view of this this lake, guys. First of all, it's called Acadia Cottages. So I'll link that website on the description box below. If you want to go there, just go in the description box. That is the best, I think the best hotel there to, if you want to see a better view of the lake, Acadia Cottages. Then if you want to see a, like a near view, when, when, a near view when you're very near the lake, guys, you go to it's called bad nest bad nest yes i think bad nest if i've forgotten i'll link it also in the description box below so yes guys that's the first place the second place to visit in uganda is queen elizabeth national park and this park is the most visited national park in uganda and the hotels i recommend staying in is moya safari lodge i think this lodge is this hotel is known by very many Ugandans here. It's called Moya Safari Lodge. I'll also link them in the description box. Guys, this hotel has the best, very nice interior designs if you go in. And also has, you can also, if you, because it's up, up like on the hill. If you go like, you, you there's somewhere you stand, then after you, it has got a view of the Kazinga Channel. Yes, that's why I love this hotel and I've been there like four times and I'm still going there. The third place to visit in Uganda is Fort Potro, guys. And when you're going to Fort when you're going to Fort Potro, don't hesitate to pass through the Semilik National Game Park because from there, you got to see the female hot spring. It's so interesting. And the best part of me when I remember going there is boiling it's boiling eggs guys can you imagine you can put your they put okay they you know they will put eggs there like real eggs and they get boiled up and they get ready for you to eat can you imagine uganda uganda zab which means uganda is gold next question how is life in uganda and what do you love um how is life in uganda and what do you love most about your country about what do you love most about being ugandan oh yeah yes guys life in uganda is great i mean for the fortunate who have got the fans yeah you can party uganda is a free country where everyone parties from the pms to the ams i mean if you've got the fun the fans you will enjoy partying because these are the people who like partying also and i'm not saying that they don't work yes these people work but if it is party time they mean partying these people can party a lot guys if you want to party come to uganda what i love most about my country is the hospitality people have guys if you have to come to uganda these people are welcoming so much even if you don't know anything about the country or about some places they will welcome you and you definitely feel at home so yeah and the next thing about our country is we have got organic foods i mean fresh foods not foods from the fridges or foods from the can 
yes we have got them but they are they are imported from some country but here food is fresh food is organic food is nutritious food is good here so yeah that's what i mean next question guys what thing don't you like about your country or about being uganda and what i hate about my country is the corruption and bribery in my country this is too 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 crazy i'm even annoyed it's too crazy in my country guys i don't know whether all countries are like that i hate its bribery guys it is too crazy so let me tell you a story one time my, my brother went to like three offices to ask for a job guys and they were like do you have money money pay us money i mean money for what if a person is looking for a job and then after someone asks, okay not i'm not talking about the bosses in not the bosses who ask for money it is these colleagues like the one maybe let me see the people hiring i don't know whether the people hiring or someone already working in the company and is again asking for money so that they can fix him in the job guys bam mulekerao even to have your lunch it's too much bribery mulekerao bribery ne corruption even to have your lunch it's not good at all I even feel annoyed of because of that someone is looking for a job he doesn't have money and again you tell him before we before I take you to the bosses you first give me money like for what can't you help someone without like bribing without being bribed or something um, I feel sorry I feel sorry about Okay guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to turn on your post notification so that you don't miss any new videos I'll be posting. So yeah, I love you guys. Take care. Bye bye. You want to say bye bye? Come. Bye. Say hi. Bye. Bye. Say hi. Hi guys. Uh-huh. Tell them something. My new channel.